Stats Training Module 1 Introduction and Controls Covers basic setup and controls Startup and registration Controls Home screen Connections Read user manual carefully before using or registering stats Startup and registration After taking stats out of the box, locate the tester console You'll notice a plastic film with quick start instructions over the screen. Please follow these instructions very carefully. Download the Stats PC Loader software from www.sierrastats.com. Click on Software Loader Warranty Registration link. Click Save on the pop-up menu. Follow the prompts for installing the Stats PC Loader software. The Sierra Stats PC Loader software is now installed on your PC and a shortcut is located on your desktop. The Stats Loader should launch automatically after installation. If it does not, double click the Stats Loader icon on your desktop to launch the program. Locate and install the 18-ADC-152AC power adapter and 18-ADC-153USB cable into the STATS tester. Press and hold the power button on the STATS tester to power on. Wait for drivers to install to PC. Note, ensure software loader is installed before performing the step. Failure to do so will result in incorrect drivers being installed onto your PC. Once the drivers have been installed and ensuring the stats console is on its home screen, click the green arrow on the stats loader. Enter the passcode of your tester, located on the clear pouch of the canvas carrying case and press OK. At this time, a registration screen will appear. Entering this information will provide Sierra with prudent warranty information and will also allow Sierra to contact you via email regarding software updates and new products regarding the stats. Once the warranty registration is complete, the loader page will automatically load diagnostic software to your tester. You will notice the red USB LED begins to flash. This indicates data transfer between the stats and your PC. Once the software download is complete, power down the stats tester using the same procedure as powering up, unplug the 18-ADC-152 and 18-ADC-153 cables, and your Sierra Stats Diagnostic System is ready to use. Controls Sierra Stats was designed with simplicity in mind. Stats is controlled using an easy-to-use touchpad and touchscreen. The touchpad includes the power button, which turns the tester on and off by simply holding the button down for approximately one second. The green LED indicates the power is on. Stats is equipped with contrast buttons, which can greatly assist the user when going from a darker environment, such as a shop, to outside in bright sunlight. The directional pad is on both sides of the Sierra Stats, so it's easily used by left and right-handed users. The arrows are used for on-screen navigation. The enter key, which is used to select functions and continue operations of the Sierra stats. The back key is used to back out of the current screen to the previous screen. The function keys, or soft keys, are used to select and continue operations. The functions of these soft keys vary from screen to screen. The action of these soft keys are displayed directly above the corresponding key on the touchscreen. Home screen. The home screen is the opening screen once stats has been powered on. There are four tiles on the screen. Diagnostic software, parts catalog, calibration tile, and battery tile. Diagnostic software consists of the diagnostic software available on stats. Parts catalog consists of the stats parts catalog, which allows the user to look up parts on engines stats connects to. The calibration tile is for calibrating the touchscreen on stats. Screen calibration must be performed periodically, much like any other touchscreen. The screen can be placed into calibration mode by pressing the calibration tile on the touchscreen or simply pressing F5 on the touchpad. The screen will show a cross, which will appear on the screen. The user must touch and hold the center of this cross, either with a finger or 
a blunt pointer, such as a retracted ballpoint pen. A status bar on the top of the screen will indicate when you can release your finger or pointer. An audible beep will also be heard. This process will be repeated four more times in various places on the touch screen. Once complete, the screen will indicate that the screen calibration was successful and then will return to the home screen. The battery tile displays the battery voltage of the engine. This allows the user to ensure proper battery voltage before proceeding with diagnostics. Note, the battery tile is not a selectable function. Connections. STATS is equipped with four different ports. Power supply port, USB port, 50-way D-type dongle port, and 25-way engine connection port. Sierra STATS is not equipped with an internal battery as it is powered via the engine battery. This allows for less maintenance and removes the worry of a battery going dead much like a laptop does. The power supply port is used primarily when STATS is being updated or information is being uploaded to a PC using the AC adapter 18-ADC152. In rare occasions, the power supply port is used during engine diagnostics using the 18-ADC450 DC power cable. Usually, if an external power source is required, a connection will be supplied via a pigtail on the engine-specific diagnostic cable. The USB port is only used when STATS is being updated or when STATS is uploading saved diagnostic information to a PC. The 50-way D-type dongle port is used anytime the STATS is connected to an engine. Dongles are cartridges that supply signal routing to the tester for specific engines. There are four dongles that will be used in the dongle port. Dongle A is the most frequently used as it fits all applications but CDU. Dongle B is for CDU for tech engines. Dongle C is the CDU DI engines and Dongle D is for CDU RFI and carbureted engines equipped with DESS. Note, the correct dongle must be installed with proper cables before STATS will communicate with the connected engine. The 25-way D-type engine connection port connects to the 18-ADC300 master cable. This cable and connection will be used every time STATS is connected to an engine. On the other side of the master cable is a round connector that connects to the engine specific adapters. This concludes training module one. Please watch the other training modules in our stats training series. Thanks for watching.